A-Tribe, Diamond Well here, otherwise known as Coach Moose. I feel a little like Ron Burgundy right now. I'm sitting in our friend's place down in North Bend, Washington, uh, where we're helping house it. And I'm in this big, great room here, and it's actually like sort of like their music room too. So they, they jam here, you know, this is a fireplace behind me, and I'm sitting in this awesome chair here. It's a nice leather ottoman. I'm feeling very chill. <laughs> From uh, man therapy. Anyways, uh, I'll have to share that link again because that was a pretty fun video and Chrissy just reminded me of it saying that uh, I seem to be in that kind of an office space right now. Anyways, congratulations. You just finished day 15 and we're about to do day 16 uh, on our 28 day journey to optimizing not only our happiness, but also our health. And you guys are doing fantastic. And I've been loving all the updates in the group, the photos, and I wanna leave you with something today. As you'll note in the day 16 email, I talk about fear. And not only fear of missing out, but more so fear holding us back of trying new things. A lot of times it's that fear of failure, the fear of being judged, especially. I know myself, there's been a number of times in my life where fear of judgment has prevented me from doing things. Doing things that deep down I really wanted to try, but I was worried that I wouldn't do well and ultimately people would judge me for it. None anymore. No, now we just throw, it, throw caution to the wind, I guess, in a way, but really, what's the judgment about? Right? Like, what is it, the fear of judgment that really holds us back? Is it that? I know for myself it was. I was concerned about what people think about me. And it took me a lot of years to really get past that. And trust me, there's times where that little voice back here starts to whisper. And sometimes it grows to a conversation. And from sometimes it starts yelling at me and chirping and just creating a lot of stress. And it's at those times when I reach out for my tribe, my family, my closest friends, my confidants, the people that uplift me and hold me accountable to the goals I've set for myself. That's you guys. And that's the power of having a tribe. We're all here to encourage one another, pick each other up, dust off <laughs> the dirt when we fall, and remind each other life is awesome. And it is about challenging ourselves and trying new things and not being feared of being judged. None of us are here to judge one another. We're here to uplift each other. So anyways, I know it's a bit of a ramble, but it just got me thinking, based on some of the comments and a few of you have reached out privately to me, we miss days, it's okay. No one is judging you, you're judging yourself and you don't have to be such a critical judge. <laughs> Listen, man, we're all here to help each other. We miss a day, who cares? Move on, so what? Today's the day, let's do it, right? So we can say we just did it. Ah, I like the space, I really do. I think I might have to film more videos here. But <laughs> I, oh yeah, I gotta tell you about the workout. So it's Tuesday. And I, I'm liking the theme to Bata Tuesday. So today's workout's four movements, and you'll see those movements listed in the email. I'm gonna alternate those week to week. This week I wanna have more of a leg and core feel to it. So you'll notice that we have skater lunges, we have step ups, um, there's also gonna be some dips, chair dips, to really hit those triceps, and then uh, crunches. So you have those four movements. You're gonna do a Tabata set of each movement. So that takes um, about three minutes and 40 seconds uh, when you don't factor in the rest, because it's gonna be continuous. You're gonna be moving for just over 15 minutes. It's a spicy one, but it's a good one. I'll let you choose the order that you wanna do it in. You don't necessarily have to do it in the order that I provide you. It's just a suggestion. Have fun with it, enjoy it. And be sure to leave a comment in the group. I do put a little challenge in the email today and I'd like to see who's gonna follow up on that challenge. Who's going to post a video or a photo 
and get a little vulnerable with a personal fear that they've been dealing with and how you overcame it. We're a community of stories, guys, and each one of us has one to tell, and it helps each other every time we share one. So be a little vulnerable, share a story, and let's help somebody else in the tribe do something that scares them a little bit, right? Anyways, guys, over and out. Enjoy day 16, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Got to see the button right there. <laughs> I guess, um, state classy tribe. Ah, it was awful. I was trying to do a Ron Burgundy. Forget about it. See you guys.